both my parents would reach us when we were um, when, at bedtime. And we always looked forward to it. And we all had our favorites that we read. And it was just a nice time to um, cuddle up together. And we just always felt really close to mom and dad. And it always surrounded books, so it was fun. Do you have a favorite book you remember them reading to you? Well, my mom would always read Winnie the Pooh by A.A. A. Milne, and I still have the copy of, um, of Winnie the Pooh that she read to me as a little girl, 50 something, <laughs> something years ago. <laughs> So it's great. And, um, and then we also loved Robert McClowski's books because we love Maine and, yes. and Blueberries for Sal and Make Way for Ducklings and all those books that reminded us of New England and Maine. Dr. Seuss's favorite is Green Eggs and Ham. And, and I can remember my mom actually, although maybe kids are not supposed to remember that, that young of age, but I, I think through my association and affiliation with United Through Reading, when I, at least my wife Lisa, had the opportunity to read to the kids, we uh, selected Green Eggs and Ham, and I think that was the moment that jogged my memory to say, you know what, that's the same book that my own mom used to read to me when I was, you know, that, that age. Did your parents, when they were reading to you, did they do the voices of the characters? They really did. Yeah, they were. My mom, especially, was is, was a very dramatic reader, and and she made it fun. And um, and Dad was silly, and <laughs> so they were, you know, they're amazing parents. They were amazing readers. They modeled, you know, we all loved to read because they loved to read, and even when they weren't reading to us, they would read books and we saw how they loved reading and so we all love reading. Well, the seminal character is young Jim from Treasure Island, right? It's a Navy story. Yeah. Love that. I've read it a million times. And is that your favorite book from your childhood? Of course. Of course. Set me on a path. Uh, high, high adventures on the high seas. What's not to lie? So now we understand you have a very demanding job and lots of information coming through you at all times on your desk. Um, we would just like to know, do you know where the sidewalk is? Well, the sidewalk never ends. There is no finish line. It's about the journey, the path. 